Hello and welcome to you all from the Giuseppe Miazza in Milan. The teams then, Inter against Genoa. This is Peter Drury and next to me providing insights will be Jim Beglin. Well, thanks, Peter. There's a great sense of anticipation in this stadium and I've been hit by it too. Inter Milan trail after the first leg, but with the tie now back at home, it does favour them. Now they have to deliver. So the two starting lineups. Got things on the way. Inter Milan were defeated on their travels in the first leg. And the task is clear, they have to win. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Santon. Tries a through ball. Drives it towards the front. And the through ball is intercepted. And the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Face to face with the keeper. Oh, he's broken through. Too long to get the shot away. Well, look, that's what happens when you're caught in two minds. You just don't know what you're doing. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. <laughs> Knocks it towards the front. Inter Milan looking really energetic early on. It is a high press. Tries the route one option. There were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. Biabiani. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. And the defence can get it clear. Mats Hummels passes it through. Oh, well played. Kept cool and dealt with it. Boots it upfield. The shot's on! It's a loose ball. He's had a shot. 
knocks it away. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. Tries a long pass towards the front. side yet able to force a breakthrough here Miguel Veloso good challenge he just stood firm that's good defense uh, plain and simple good defense they refuse to allow a turn he's made sure that that won't get through That's clear cut, it's a free kick. <laughs> Some good play on the left hand side now to profit from it. That's a throw. It's Veloso. Who's going to make this theirs? Pull forward. What does he try from here? Out towards the flank. Biabiani. Gets it into the middle. Chance. Is it in? It's come loose. Try the outcome could so easily have been different. Oh, listen, I think you can understand at times that the pace of the game pressures players into split second decisions, and sometimes they just make the wrong one. And I think he would have been better placing that. There, there was a little bit of space, Peter, they could have worked with, but the next it was it was shut down, and it was shut down extremely well. Gets his head to it! And that's caused a worry or two. Well, if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. The contact wasn't right there, so there wasn't much chance of success. Oh, that's great stuff from him. I would agree. Uh, it's tremendous play. He's full of belief and imagination and hard to contain. If you have just joined us, you'll be glad to know that you haven't missed a goal. Miguel Veloso. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? Whistle's gone. That's a foul. And he's going to have his name taken. Perhaps the final meaningful act of the first half. Well... He has great set-piece prowess. I think you know what's coming, but stopping it, another matter. Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Well, when he struck that, he must have thought it was going in. Such are the margins of success and failure in this game. That was so close. Gets it back. Now the pass. Into the channel. Perisic. And he 
he's made certain that won't get through. Long shell pass, that's the message there. They've managed to get it away. Spoon forward, driving on now, what can they conjure from here? And the semi-final reaches halfway. Well, they can't hide from the fact, Peter, that they've not really done enough, but it's not looking good for them. Who knows, maybe they'll thrive when the pressure is, is greater. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. So off we go once more. Inter can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. It's good progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? Forward it goes. Out wide to the right. Alaba pumps it upfield. Looks like a good ball through. And the finish! A terrific run to latch onto it, but the finish is all wrong. Oh, that was a lovely little dink over the top just to get the runner in on the keeper, and what a pity he just couldn't produce a goal from that. Mathieu. Great reaction! A oh, great save, real class. Well, I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. Referee's awarded a free kick. <laughs> Alaba sticks in a foot to win it back. Tries to get it forward quickly. Aimed long and direct. Wonderful quick feet. Inter Milan may be thinking about substitutions now. They still have two available. Mathieu. Battles to win it back. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Yeah, and what they've got to realise, Peter, is that they won't get away with excessive force. He's been taken down, and the referee has pointed at the spot. Inter Milan have themselves a penalty. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? It's to go one up. One nil. Never any 
kicked out. Of course, a mere formality. Well, the keeper probably felt he could read that, but he's guessed completely wrongly. He's gone to the other side. Into Milan, take the lead and take charge of the tie. Gets it back. He's not played the ball, that's a foul. Mathieu. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Oh, that's a foul, free kick's been given. Biabiani looks to slip it through. Oh, good stop, it had to be. Good stop, that wasn't easy. Oh, he made that look really easy, Peter, but I can assure you that wasn't a, a routine save. He had to be very switched on there. Shot it, and that's the keepers. Miguel Veloso. Kentreva. Forward oh, checking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to uh, to dig in for his team here. Mathieu tries a through ball. Oh, and that should have been two. What a massive let-off that was. They're still in it, but uh, this could be pivotal. Piapiani <laughs> hits it! Disappointing finish in the end. Well, you can fault the execution, but not the idea or the effort. <laughs> Looks like a good ball through. He's had a shot! Taken with style, and surely that clinches it. There really is no way back now. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Into Milan, go into the lead. I think this team shows great willpower and a wonderful never-say-die attitude. No other outfit can match them. They just keep going. Superb. Mathieu. Contreva. Tarapt puts his foot on the gas. This lead then looking ever more decisive in the context of what remains of the game. Alaba, Mathieu, Miguel Veloso did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. That's the throw. Hurtles into the tackle.
Mathieu. Aim forward. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out-muscled. Fine defending there. Brings it forward. And that's it. Inter Milan have done it. Into the final, and they can taste glory now. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Yeah, semi-finals have a habit of being tense and cautious because you're so close to the showpiece occasion and yet they played with really good composure, and that makes a great, great difference.